Hey guys, this is Chris. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to recover deleted files from your hard drive or your computer, whether you accidentally deleted them or done them on purpose. I want to show you how to recover them using one of the most advanced software applications available online. So the first thing you want to do is visit this website. It's savemyfiles.net. That link is also directly under this video in the description box. If you click on it, it'll take you straight to this page. And you want to click the Download Now button. You want to download the software. As you can see, up here at the top they are Microsoft partners um, go to application development you don't have to worry about adware spyware malware anything like that being installed on your computer this is a very solid running uh, software tool to recover deleted files um, so once you download it you want to go ahead and install it on your computer and then once you install it and open it you're going to see a tool that looks like this here and when you get to this main screen, it's, you have several options to do. You can do a quick scan of a drive if you already know which drive you're going to scan. And you can search for specific types of files or documents, whether they are emails, music, photos, text, video, web. It automatically organizes and sorts these into different categories when you recover them. You can click on advanced and you can choose to recover files from different types of media that you have attached to your computer. So if you have some kind of a memory card, an SD card, a flash drive, uh, whatever it is on your computer that holds memory, um, you'll, it should show up right here. And once it does, you can just collect that or select that one. And this one here, in my case, is a SanDisk USB drive that I want to recover. So I want to make sure this box, this box here is ticked. And once I do, I just want to click Start Scan. Now, once I do, it's going to automatically start going through here, and it's going to start organizing all these files that it can recover from my flash drive. And it's going to show you the type of file it is, whether it's audio, video, text, folders. And as it collects more information, it's going to organize them. So depending on the size of what you're trying to recover, whether it's a hard drive or a flash drive or, or you know some kind of a memory card, it could take up to even a couple hours hours to recover all the files based on the size of it. Now what I'm recovering now is a 32 gig USB drive so in this case it's probably going to take maybe 10-15 minutes for me to run through and I'm not going to sit here and make you watch it the whole time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click cancel here and just kind of show you what it's found so far. So right, right here we can see that it's found a total of 285 items and we can click the plus sign here and see what it's found for us. What's really neat about this tool is you can actually hover over top the file names and give it a second and it's going to show you a preview of what that image is if it can be recovered. So as you can see here these are just some kind of generic images that was on my flash drive and it's showing you what they are. So if these are what I'm trying to recover, if they're the images or whether it's some kind of other file on here, all I'm going to do is get down here and tick the box on the ones I want to recover and I'm going to click on recover. Now down here you'll see where it's asking you for a file recovery location. This is simply where you want the software to put these files once it's recovered them for you and you can click the change location button here or the link and it'll let you select a different place if you prefer. So once you click recover if you haven't already purchased this software uh, it's going to redirect you to a website where you can uh, just enter your name your email and where you can register and so it'll actually allow you to recover those files because what this is here at savemyfiles.net um, like I said this is one of the state of the art recovery tools available and the reason they allow you to download it free is because they want you to check and see if that file can be recovered before you purchase the software. A lot of the tools on the market today you have to purchase them and then find out if they can recover your files and if you can't recover them well sometimes you're just stuck with that product and you wasted a lot of money well, in this case, you got a chance to download the software for free. It'll show you what it can recover, and if it can recover it, then you can decide whether you want to go ahead and pay the uh, fee for it, which I think is around $39. Sometimes they offer specials on it. So you'll just kind of have to go through that process and see what it costs at that time. We've owned this tool now for a few years for our business, and we've used it multiple, multiple times to recover files from uh, hard drives, memory cards, flash drives, or even phones that we've had hooked up uh, through a USB cord to our computer. It would allow us to recover some of those files as well. So check it out. It's savemyfiles.net. Go here, download it, um, put your card in there, whatever you're trying to recover. See if it can recover those files, and then um, let's just hope that you can recover yours as well. Thanks.